two at a time, man, two at a time. What is up, everybody? So out this morning, chasing after some late summer sand bass, what we call them here in Texas. White bass is what most of the rest of the country call them. This is a time that a lot of anglers that target white bass go to troll it. I hate fishing that way, but what I prefer to do is go out and um, continue fishing with slabs. But the fishing is a lot different than uh, it is, you know, say early summer, late spring. But this time of year, with the water being hot, you got a lot of little bitty tiny shad from uh, the last spring shad spawn. Lake is just filled with them right now and uh, tons of ghost minnows and other bait fish and the fish are moving really fast. Uh, I'm in about anywhere from 16 to 22 feet of water and I'm driving up and down this ledge with my side imaging and am looking for uh, a few things. One is trying to stay in water that is above that thermocline so I'm going to usually stay uh, in water that's shallower than about 22 feet and I'm looking for schools of white bass just kind of scattered around where a lot of times you may pull up you know other times of the year you may see tons of fish stacked up on that structure and feeding that's not what I'm seeing this morning and it's because these fish are moving so fast been a few places where I've driven through I've seen a big school of fish marked them with a GPS location and literally in the 90 seconds that it's taken me to get my boat turned back around and over to that GPS coordinate those fish are gone but when I find those fish in these areas where I see a few schools scattered around like that Basically what I do is spot lock my trolling motor, drop my Minn Kota Ulterra, hit that spot lock, and start slabbing. And usually those fish, again, are moving so fast up and down these ledges, feeding, that you can catch fish. See that? This is an easy way to catch a lot of fish in the summer if you really want to catch fish um, you know you can get out here doesn't require a lot of real fancy equipment you don't have to have real heavy gear I'm just using these uh, Abu Garcia uh, vengeance graphite rods these are medium power uh, graphite rods I've got some little Revo X reels I got some silver max reels got a few different spinning reels 10 pound test line and I'm just fishing with a slab on the bottom. Uh, these are old ugly slabs is what they're called. That's a chartreuse and white slab. And then I've got a fly about 18 inches above that slab. You can put multiple flies on there when the fish are really biting. You catch them three and four at a time fishing like this. There you go. Double double again. Huh? Hold, hold the fishing rod for me. Yeah. Two at a time, man. Two at a time. Is it hitting the bottom? There we go. missed it.
bitty one there. Not into the fish poop. I <laughs> know. Another catch and release. Man, broke me off. There you go. I let go. Got it. <laughs> we got the little fish award. Little bitty fish. Or... Yeah. Another little bitty tiny baby. What happened? We went from catching big fish to catching tiny fish. A little yellow bass. Is that another baby? Catfish. This fish is a sand bass. And those little bitty fish are yellow bass. So we pulled up first place we started fishing within a few seconds we had fish on and uh, caught a bunch of doubles caught a bunch of fish bites slowed down we sat about maybe eight or ten minutes didn't have any bites so started moving around At that point got into really a lot of small yellow bass um, caught some undersized catfish just kind of all over the place with some different uh, species of fish and the bite just kind of progressively slowed down from there and that's pretty typical this time of year you know your best bite's going to be from sun up until about 9 9 30 sometimes 10 o'clock and then it usually slows down quite a bit after that and uh, you know you may be able to find them during the heat of the day but it's just so hot here that I don't fish during the middle of the day in the summertime but again 
this is a great way to catch white bass, sand bass, whatever you want to call them in the summertime. If you want to get out and catch a mess of fish, super easy to do. You just got to get out there, get those baits in the water, start slabbing. The trick is, again, you know, make sure you know, you're only moving up and down just a few feet off the bottom. Move slow, and then when you're dropping that slab, make sure that you're dropping slow. You're not getting any slack in the line. You stay in contact with the slab. It's really important to make sure that you stay in contact with that slab on the way back down because you'll miss a lot of fish if you don't. So I'll be back next week with some more catfish action. Finally going to get off the other species of fish i think for a little while we'll see what happens summertime fishing in texas just kind of a mixed bag sometimes just got to get out there and catch what i can catch i'm trying to make sure i keep pumping out videos so what are you supposed to say uh you need to like and subscribe and buy the merch